We're talking with uh, Ford Central coach Sean Hager. And Sean, good to have you on this segment today. Good to be here and talk to you. Talk a little bit about last year and the, uh, and the fact that you were able to take the team to the playoff, just the experience for those kids and what it meant to the, to the community. Well, we knew coming in, you know, combining two schools and uh, didn't know what it would be like. And, you know, people said, you know, you got to go up there and bring these two schools together. And uh, from day one, the kids just got along and they meshed together and being able to get in the playoffs and winning the first playoff game in, in school history, that was a big start, especially at being at home. We started off the season slow, and right in the middle of the season, we went through a spell where we lost three in a row, and we had to make some changes and, and get the kids to buy in, and they did, and from then on, you know, it was a ride up until the Louisville Central game. Of course, now going into this season, uh, you've got to replace, what, six starters on offense? So maybe just talk about uh, some of the kids you've got coming back and what you've seen so far. Well, we've I know we've lost um, four linemen of our starting five offensive linemen, that the ones that's going to be coming back. I think we have one. So we're going to have a new offensive line. We lost our quarterback, who was a big part of our offense. You know, uh, Dylan was a competitor. We lost some, uh, our linemen was pretty good and we were strong. That was, you know, some of the strongest on our team was our linemen, but uh, we're hoping some kids coming back we've got we lost the running back in Kobe Sloan but we've got Josh Whitaker coming back who carried the ball a lot for us last year so we're going to have to replace I think on offense it's eight offensive players and I think six or seven on defense coach you know you talked about the players meshing and coming together talk a little bit about how the community really grabbed a hold of this thing last year as far as the high school atmosphere you couldn't beat it. Uh, you know, we were sitting in school during the home games and, and people were driving their grills up on the hill about 3.30 or 4 o'clock and, and the atmosphere was great at the games. You mentioned four home games. As we close, just talk a little bit about the schedule and the fact you will be on the road for six ball games. Yeah, six in a row. I think uh, we open up at home with Harlan. It's a tough schedule. I, I told the kids we're going to have to work hard because we'll be considered road warriors this year.